Hello, welcome back to all you witches, wizards and muggles out there. Today is another Harry Potter theory video and this one it's a bit weird, a bit out there but hey we're going to do it anyway. This video is about Dumbledore represents death theory. Now I went on last night because I was bored, there was nothing to do, it was a Friday night and I was just sitting here reading Harry Potter theories and then this one came up and what even was more surprising was that JK Rowling herself tweeted out that she liked this theory idea from a fan. Um, basically, this is about, um, there are three characters from the books that allude to the idea about the three brothers and that Dumbledore represents death by giving them these objects. So we're going to discuss that in a minute. But for now, sit back. Relax, get a butterbeer, some sweets from Honey Tricks, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm on my computer right now, and basically this is the theory. This is the theory. Lord Voldemort represents the first um, brother who asks for a more powerful wand, then he can win so many battles for, win the war, win everything, and then, as you will know, he died from that specific wand because he wasn't the right owner. Um, so that led to his downfall, so that was the first brother, brother taken. And also, Dumbledore himself had that wand before Voldemort stole it from him. So it was sort of like a backfire, a curse, calm, uh, bad luck, whatever you want to call it. Um, the second theory is that Professor Snape represents the second brother who asked, well, he didn't really ask for it to bring back loved one, but he lost Lily when, um, and he was so in love with her and everything like that. So I could imagine that he would be desperate enough to search for the resurrection stone to bring back Lily from the dead. So that kind of fits in. I, I can agree with that. But the problem with that theory is that the resurrection stone was in Voldemort's mother's house. Like the mansion. And that's where Dumbledore got it, tried to kill it and got his black hand from. So that theory went down the drain hole for me. And the third one is, of course, Harry Potter. He's the third brother, He's described to be the most humble man, only to live, uh, uh, who only asked to live a long, happy life without the fear from death. And guess what he got? The invisibility cloak, which he got from his first year, who said it belonged to his father. And he, I don't know how Dumbledore managed to get that priceless artifact, but he did. Um, but in order, for Harry to come back, he possessed all the Deathly Hollows. It's really weird, but I can I can think of Harry as the um, boy who cheated death. Makes sense. I mean, how many times has he nearly died and been brought back to life? I lost count. There's let's see, Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets. He escaped the Prison of Azkaban. I mean, not he escaped the Goblet of Fire. Escape the Ministry of Magic bottle, Battle. Um, he never really faced Voldemort in Half Blood Prince, and then in the Deathly Hollows, he got resurrected back from the dead. So I can imagine him as him being cheated from death, and he could use the invisibility cloak to hide from death. Why didn't you just do that with Voldemort? I don't know, but yeah. And yeah, it's really weird. I mean, I don't know. Like J.K. Rowling herself said that the tale of three brothers um, is loosely based on Jeffrey Porch, I think it is, the partner's tales. But it also also feels like the three Billy Goats Gruff story as well. So uh, I don't know about this one, guys. I mean, what do you guys think? Leave me comments down below. What do you think of this theory? Do you think that those three names allude to the three brothers or is there other characters that you feel fit well in this description personally i think of harry as the third brother neville at uh, neville longbottom as the second one who lost his loved ones and then um if the first brother could be ron in a way only because he got a bit jealous and the power went over his head and everything like that so i think they're more fitting than voldemort and snape but in, in a way, Voldemort and Snape, they both have hardships too, so I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. It's very clever and very, very weird. 
very weird. But yeah, you know you guys know what to do. Write comments down below, click the subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss out on any more Harry Potter theories. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.